collective welcome aboard guys so this is going to be a collective message it's going to be more about your personal journey your you know about you collective and what spirit wants to relay to anyone where this message resonates with okay so take what resonates leave the rest we're going to see what's happening in your um, sphere in your journey right now all right so thank you guys for being here thank you for your beautiful wonderful messages your comments your support and your donations i really do appreciate it thank you so much um i know i got a pretty nice donation yesterday and i thank you okay i was trying to um you know s reply to it but it kind of like the reply i don't know where it went it disappeared because it was through my cash app but I just wanted to thank whoever did that and thank you to all the other rest of you that have donated as well. Alright, if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, share if you will. Let's get to it. Alright, Spirit, what's going on for the collective? What's going on for the collective? Okay, birth of creation and potential growth, number six. All right, so spirit is guiding you. Um, there's been a moment of restoration in preparation for something new that you have been encompassing. Okay, there's a birth of something new or a potential for even more growth okay this could also be a lesson with number six being here but you're or you're guided or you're being guided to birth something new because you have been in a period of growth and you have learned some major lessons along the path along your way okay it's giving me like the dragon's egg also and then we have cosmic ancestors voice your concerns so if you have concerns if you felt some sort of stagnancy um, you know if something is coming to an end with number 10 being there or something has and you're wondering what's the next chapter what's the next move what's the next step make sure that you definitely connect with your cosmic ancestors ask questions don't be afraid to ask the questions you need to ask to get some sort of sign specific sign or synchronicity in connection to what you want to know as well all right because there's definitely something new coming and i'm also getting that maybe some of you don't know exactly when this new creation or new idea or new cycle is entering your life some of you are already in there it's just something has not really taken form quite yet so it may feel like like you're in a dead zone in the void so to speak okay but something is definitely being created and it has to do with your own um inner growth okay three 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 on the clock all right we have guardian number 19 guard your energy all right so of course as we know i feel your ancestors are protecting you right now it's like you are this egg there's something being birthed that is a part of you that it has to do with you. You're, you're, it's like you're in the egg about to hash, hatch into some new experience and you're being protected by your ancestors in the process. They're guarding you, but you, there's also a sense of you guarding your protection. Okay, I'm hearing lone wolf. A lot of you are lone wolves out here. Number 19, again, adding up to 10. So we have 10, 10. There's some form of judgment, some form of um, reconciliation to, I heard, to something that has been lost through time. Okay, so you're reconnecting with a part of yourself. You're also reconnecting with something that is being activated within you. Okay? Okay. In connection to your ancestors and there's a need to definitely guard and protect your energy okay because this cannot be disturbed is what I'm feeling here okay so do what you got to do 
to protect yourself and or whatever you're creating as well all right some of you could be pregnant congratulations there's something special about this particular child that is within you okay and it could be an ancestor for some of you a reincarnation of an ancestor and you're gonna learn a lot from this child um, as I feel this child would be pretty um, self-aware and if you're someone that is doing the inner work which that's what I'm getting that's typically who I read for um, this is this is good okay this is really good you're going to be a great guide for this child or reincarnated ancestor that that's not for everybody but I'm getting that for somebody astro travel caution needed okay with number three here yeah those of you who are like to astro travel there is a need to protect your energy or to guard your energy okay there may be something trying to get in the way of whatever you whatever is being birthed here in in connection to you okay so there is a need to guard yourself or ask for protection uh, when you before you go to sleep at night like I know I astro travel a lot and most of the time if I can get this together here is spontaneous although you know if I if I do it through meditation you know it's a little more controlled but if I just sleep you know I have wow <laughs> sorry guys I have no control of you know where I'm going in the cosmic realm so because it's just an automatic thing because I'm so used to doing it so there may be a need to guard and protect your energy now this could be in connection to a dream that I had here that a lot of you may be you know going through especially with people that have tried to do spell work against you um, conjuring up demonic spirits against you and stuff like that I can tell you that uh, just the other day I had a dream that I was fighting a demon okay and demon in every sense of the word like how you would expect a demon to look this demon looked I defeated it in the dreams and I actually laughed at it when it was on the floor and I said stop being so obsessed okay now this could be fighting your own inner demons there's a few meanings to that it could be you um, defeating an inner demon within you that is associated with some low vibrational energy um, addiction or um, something that is maybe in excess that's for some of you for others of you it could mean someone that is obsessed with you that is constantly trying to connect to you through the astral realm through your dream state and for others of you it could be that these demonic spirits that that um, certain people are sending your way because of you know due to spell work and trying to steal your destiny and you know sacrifice you and stuff like that so but whatever this is it, it was defeated I was laughing at it and I and and whoever I was with which I feel could have been an ancestor or a spirit guide dragged it away and and there was two actually the other one was like a sheep like a wolf in sheep's clothing now that I'm looking at that and it was a female okay and I defeated that one before I went to the big demon that came at me and what's funny is that night that I dreamt about that I was cleansing my space like really cleansing my space and still something felt a little bit off and I know when I feel a little bit off I'm about to have some nightmares or I'm, something's about to happen in my dreams but that was defeated okay so and you know again astro realm okay protect your energy all right for a lot of you I, I think I've said this before wear some copper a copper ring a copper bracelet whatever you have to do when you go to sleep especially if it's happening spontaneously just make sure you know you cleanse your space and you have certain um, 
certain uh, stones like obsidian, lapis lazul, anything like that around you. Um, this is John the Conqueror. Wait, what is it? Let me see. Hold on. I believe I have that right. Yeah, hi John the Conqueror root. Okay, this is highly protective. Um, it's not really like a stone, but it is pretty hard. Okay. Uh, you could put that under your pillow. You could put one in your pocket, wherever you go. All right, let's look at the bottom here. Yeah, align your universe. Navigate distractions. Okay, so there could be some things that are distracting you. Okay. Um, again, with that dream and this caution through the astral realm, okay, while you're connecting to your ancestors, you are being protected, but um, there could be things trying to distract you from where you're trying to go. Now, there could be an egg somewhere, right, metaphorically speaking, that is a creation of something big in your life, and these things are trying to distract you from getting to it, but it's yours. It's meant for you. They cannot steal it. They can't even touch it. But they will try to prevent you from getting to it. All right. So eliminate any distractions or anything that puts you in a negative mindset. Channel your knowledge, critical judgment, and we have hidden realms. Create conscious awareness. So, you know, just stay woke. Okay. Stay high vibrational. Um, you know, do your breathing exercises, tap in and eliminate the clutter you know get as precisely as you can with your environment with what you eat and what you do for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis okay all right yeah <laughs> I heard um, I think was it Jim Carrey that said that in a movie Ace Ventura I have exercised the demon. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's see what else we have here. So exercise your demons. I'm just not like scared. I don't fear demons. I don't fear spiritual warfare. Not anymore. I, I just... I face whatever I need to face you know it's there so it's either me or it so I have to you know do what I gotta do okay so if a demon is coming at me in the dream state what am I gonna do fear it no I'm gonna fight it de defeat it all right let's see what else here So some of you could be having those types of dreams as well, um, or you will be. Just, you know, exercise caution. Birth of creation. There may be something also you're tending to in the astral realm that is coming to fruition in the physical and every time you try to go to it, right, your soul, your spirit tries to go to it, or your consciousness, however you want to see it, something tries to build some sort of, um, you know, put some sort of obstacle between you and this particular thing. Children, I can't make it up. There is a child. Okay, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. Okay, so this could be through the birth of your own children or child or children in general. Like some of you are, could be teachers, some of you will be connecting more with children or meeting um, partners that have children. And you're a very important asset in their lives because of this whole transformation and ascension and awakening, self-love, self-worth, okay, being in connection to spirit. So... You know, you're like a guide, a muse to children, even though these children, you know, before they get conditioned um, in a way where they, they, um, 
are you know they get too distant from themselves and get mentally imprisoned by society where they don't understand their worth or their true power right that's what i'm getting uh what else here so it doesn't even have to be through your own children some of you could um even foster children or um adopt or there could be family members that are you know that have children and you're an important asset in their life well let's uh, do that again but that was you got the power with love life love life cosmic ancestors with voice your concerns Flower power, okay? Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. So something about that scent, okay, of flowers. Just kind of bringing you, you know, smell is very important too. It just, it brings nostalgia also. It also it connects you to nature. All right, so um, spend more time with flowers. Give them love. They give you love back. They bring you beauty. Beautiful energy. What else here? Guardian with guard your energy. I heard the powers that be. Patience, please. Okay. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. And that's what I was getting, you know, the egg. Okay, so if you're worried that something, whatever it is that you feel is coming but it hasn't come and, you know, you're feeling a little antsy or worried about it, it's because there there is something happening around it. Okay? Okay, so spirit is just saying, keep guarding your energy. Something is being protected and something is happening um, behind the scenes. So something is coming into alignment, but first, like spirit is working behind the scenes to clear some sort of energy up. And with 1010 being here, there could be some karma involved behind the scenes or people going through karma for trying to get in the way of what is rightfully yours. Okay, so patience, please. So spend time outdoors with children, who, whoever these children are to you. Um, and, you know, focus on just doing what you do every day to keep you on a, in a good state of mind. Astral travel with caution needed. connected to the ethers definitely lone wolf energy and you know you you definitely count on spirit to be there more than anyone I feel okay you've got the power astral travel Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. Okay? But also exercise caution while astral traveling. But you've got the power to astral travel, to tap in. I also see, like, going through dimensions here. Okay? Visiting different dimensions. Um, but, you know, there's good and evil in everything. Um, so, you know, just be careful. Just protect yourself. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. 
Beautiful. All right. And your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming. In autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay. And abundance is all kinds of things. Okay, so something being birthed that is going to make you so happy, so grateful, so like... Um, you know, because a lot of you have been going through some pretty rough times. You know, it, it can be, no matter how high vibrational we are, sometimes there could be a lot of ups and downs before the actual um, manifestation, right? And, you know, there's always a sacrifice to the things we have to manifest. And that's also, a sacrifice is also a part of us being in alignment and doing what's right for ourselves, our body, our mind, our energy, our environment in connection to what spirit is doing behind the scenes you know we can't expect just to be showered with abundance without giving of ourselves you know it's it, or cutting certain people off that is a sacrifice as well that do not belong in this specific episode of your life so a lot of you have done that you've been alone you've been doing it alone you've been you know all right so I'm a lone wolf now I've been doing a lot of inner work um, I'm howling at the moon. <laughs> I'm going through some struggles right now. You know what I mean? And uh, why is this still happening? Why is that still happening? Is there karma happening? You know, what's going on? You know, so, but trust and believe that uh, spirit is doing what they have to do in the, in the back of the, you know, in the, in the, uh, behind the scenes. And they see, they, they see the work that you've put in. Okay. They see how hard you've worked. Not just on yourself, but maybe in in your career and the things you're doing for yourself, your family. Okay, the, the inner growth, the shadow work, all of that. The self-love, the self-worth, you know, the working out, you know, getting your mind right, eating right. They see all of that. And definitely you are, your birthright is your own. But, you know, some people feel like your birthright is their birthright, you know. So they try to do the most to trip you up or stall you or you know and and you know then spirit has to deal with that so that when this does when this does come into your life you're you're not you know they're not like affecting that whatsoever so trust that they're bringing it when you most need it and at the right time okay let's see what else we got here Wow, I was just looking at this. What is, what is that? Oh, that's so weird. That wasn't there before. I don't know if you guys see that. It's, it's like it bubbled up here and there's like light coming through. I don't know if you guys see that. That's interesting. Huh. Some sort of light. Looks like a little lightning bolt. There may be something that comes as a shock, okay? It's divine, though, with that dove being there. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. Uh, children with birth of creation, potential growth, truth, so that was the truth, what I said about children here, okay, children speak the truth, okay, as well, is also what I'm getting, yeah, and definitely, these children will be uh, embodying truth and wisdom, I'm telling you, for those of you where there's new children being born, um, definitely is the time to learn for sure um, let's see what else here this could also be speaking about you in this particular lifetime coming into this world okay 
learning patience, connecting with nature, staying true to, you know, returning back to innocence, being in your own power, and in connection to your ancestors, your guardians, and, you know, the universe, the ethers. There's never a disconnect. You're, it's always been there. Desire with flower power and voice your concerns. about what you desire is what I'm getting patience please oh did I okay yeah I don't know why I put that but that says silence so there's a moment of silence yeah the challenge is the patience right you know the game of chess is a very strategic approach and one that takes time and patience if you want to learn the game correctly and win the game correctly not saying that there's a game going on but um there's definitely spirit is being strategic right now with what is coming into your life because there's a few things that need to be moved around first and dealt with okay so you know patience can be a challenge for some of you okay it happens but patience most definitely for who I'm reading for, whoever is connecting with this reading right here today is definitely a virtue here. All right. Leadership. You've got the power. With astral travel and caution needed. Yeah, this is why a lot of people go up against you is because you have this energy of leadership you have wisdom you speak your truth okay a challenge could be also be you know people trying to come towards you with this desire okay to steer you away from your purpose um also so you know just be careful be careful who's trying to also kind of ride on your coattails or you know bask in your sunlight type of energy if they're in their shadow okay we have mantra some of you could um, practice mantras or there may be a need to learn about mantras this will also help you speak your truth confidently as you're speaking or you know whatever this is um, when it comes to leadership bottom of the deck yeah we have trust okay there is some sort of transformation happening here and family again pregnancy here something that takes time treasure okay so something is being transformed within like I feel a family lineage also because a lot of you you know you came here to break these generational curses all right and you are the one in your family that was meant to go through this transformation while some of your family members you know are are going to remain caterpillars but you are tapping into something very fruitful and aligning to it yeah look rebirth and song there's something about sound resonance rebirth and she's coming out of the cave I have to tell you guys about that cosmic reading, the cosmic um, view that I do. I'm not going to do one this week because I'm working on the um, the uh, zodiac signs. But boy, yeah, I'll be, when I do that again, I'll be talking about that. Yeah, sanctuary, rebirth, with transformation, and family with treasure. So there, there could be a, a moment of you know healing. Yeah transformation rebirth so some of you are going through you're the one being birthed um there's something that is still healing within you okay for some of you some of you there is a rebirth of an ancestor here like i keep getting it could be even somebody that had passed away in your family long ago years ago being reborn okay
yeah do some grounding it helps heal and taking time to be at ease at peace sovereignty okay truth author authority power yeah you have the gift of self-sovereignty to speak your truth you know given to you by the will of God of course and authority of God because you use you use your wisdom wisely for good and not for bad okay some of you have a high ranking here but there is a rebirth going on within your life as well you're aligning to something and your alignment has a lot to do with what is being manifested so there's there's a part of you that's being sacrificed for this alignment could be a thought process um, a habit you know it whatever that is that doesn't serve you any longer is um, is being transformed all right let's see what else we got here guys be patient with me with the zodiac signs i will be doing these slowly as i have like a lot of things going on right now boss up so you're bossing up speaking your truth okay so whatever be is being birthed you are aligning to something because it's meant to boss you up okay we're popping champagne are we on a plane yeah okay some of you are going to be traveling okay so whatever is being birthed you're about to boss up okay and for some of you it's working with children yeah your tribe your vibe okay so you're attracting your tribe what's this desire with flower power every step counts okay so go after what you desire every step counts I'm also getting flower power with like flower child star seed vibes peace love happiness balance Okay. Time to move on. Okay, from something that is a challenge. Guard your energy. I feel like there's somebody here. I don't feel like this is you. There's somebody here attached trying to attach itself to your energy. That's why it says guard your energy. And they need to move on. And this has been a challenge for spirit to get this person off your back. It's like somebody is clinging on to your energy. They don't want to let you go. And spirit, this has been the challenge for spirit because they're trying to get this person off your path so that you can boss up. Okay? Um, and patience is needed because spirit is working on that. So somebody could be definitely going through some sort of karma for something they did especially if it's somebody that was doing spell work against you or they did something malice behind the scenes or against you in some which way shape or form i feel like they're the ones hanging on and your ancestors are like this mother this motherfucker don't stop clinging on like a damn child in a titty we're gonna have to take this person out or something so something's going on <laughs> okay yeah, big change is happening here. And that could have been someone that was stalling you the whole time. But Spirit's going to deal with that energy. You best believe that. Yeah, create and progress. So just keep creating. Keep being that muse, that inspiration. You've got the power. And just continue to protect your energy. Okay? So just stay focused on what you're doing. Spirit got your back. Don't worry bottom of the deck take action all right and whatever it is you're doing perfect moments there's always a way okay so spirits reassuring you there is always a way to your perfect moments and they're taking action as well jar of dreams yeah you have you have all these dreams all these things you want to do okay 
and exactly you're going to be able to do them there's updates to your system so a lot of you could be feeling a little bit groggy a little bit tired definitely connect with nature go outside i'm getting that here with flower power as well get some sunlight to, trust me boy a little 10 minutes out in the sun no matter how hot it is guys it really helps with your energy um you know it also helps to power up that pineal gland because it is a crystal okay um you know so a little vitamin d goes a long way and it's better to get it straight from the sun than in pill form um you know a lot of you may be vitamin d deficient so you know just do what you can to go outdoors for at least 10 minutes a day even if it's just looking at the flowers smelling the roses whatever you got to do all right let's get some tarot in this and you know i don't know if you guys noticed but that's oprah there <laughs> with boss up so you get a car, you get a car, you get a house, you get whatever you want, okay? Because I'm looking at that with you've got the power to become someone um, quite influential here, okay? It's within you. It's also giving, I think she's an Aquarius, so it's giving star power. Some of you, you know, your healers, whatever you're wishing for, it's coming. One more shuffle. A lot of you like to be around children because they speak the truth, right? They say the darnest things, but it, it, there's no filter because they're not yet filled with traumas, right? Ten of Wands. Okay. Bossing up, you know working hard okay you've been carrying these burdens for a while bossing up ain't easy <laughs> all right the hermit there you go every step counts okay going within doing a lot of inner work gaining wisdom doing what you uh desire okay and you know going within right cosmic ancestors uh touching base with your ancestors Okay, four of wands. Time to move on. Yeah, it could, this could be somebody you were in a relationship with. That they, it's almost like, how dare you move on from me? Or, you know, where have you been? Like, why can't I get you back into my life? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're trying to build something on solid foundation here. And just, there's like an energy, like a like a succubus or an energy vampire or a Jezebel spirit that it's just like like damn you for leaving me <laughs> there it is I can't make it up the star <laughs> and yeah she is an Aquarius I believe Oprah so there you go you know you have the power to be that leader it says you've got the power to create and progress to be you know you become what you believe right what you wish can come to fruition through faith through healing through ascension through enlightenment through purification absolutely king of cups somebody's heart is weighing heavy here Also, this is you um, being balanced within your emotions, you know, not showing too much. Because the King of Cups kind of, whether it's male or female, keeps their emotions kind of to themselves, right? You know, uh, yeah, confirmation. A lot of you went through a lot emotionally, and you became the King of Cups more reserved with your emotions. All right? Still loving, still empathic, just, you know not as open um not as quick to you know be too emotional or overly um expressive with your emotions all right the hangman with the with the hermit that's definitely enlightenment all right definitely um metamorphosis transformation enlightenment wisdom okay 
So definitely something is taking place within you, being activated. And a moment of um, suspension from the things you desire to have. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever it has been hanging on to your energy, it, it has been for some times. For some of you, it's been like seven years or longer. Okay. We also have nine here. Or is that four? Okay, yeah, four. So, yeah. It's like somebody may be trying to be strategic to get you in a relationship with them either again or just in general, like for the first time. And they've been like, <laughs> they're obsessed. Okay, so for some of you, that demon in the dreams is somebody highly obsessed with you. Queen of Pentacles. There you go. With leadership, you've got the power and the star with create and progress some of you have heavy um virgo in your chart or you could be a virgo doesn't have to be you have water somewhere in there could be in your 10th house and you have aquarius somewhere in your chart and it doesn't have to be but you know i'm just seeing your wishes are coming true your career whatever you wish to do for a living is coming true you are the muse the inspiration there's a lot of self-healing some of you are healers with the queen of pentacles and the star you bring faith to humanity okay what you create heals whether that's with music because we did see song um you know what your energy your vibration the way you show up to the world what you say how you nurture someone you know, through medicine, through herbs, whatever this is, hypothecary, um, self-love, self-worth. I mean, Queen of Pentacles is is a self-worth, self-love, nurturer, giver, um, simple, connected to Mother Earth. But also the ethers here. Yeah, Two of Wands. That's the crossroads. Okay. Looking towards your future. And I heard can't wait to uh, get started on this new journey, this new path. Okay. Lots of new things. So something is transferring for the better. Yeah, the Hierophant. Okay. Some of you, again, that's the leadership energy. Whether you are a religious person or a spiritual person. And yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever this new path is, with this newfound sense of wisdom and transformation and enlightenment, activations to your DNA, um, it, you're about to level up, boss up in a big way. Okay, however that shows up for you. Okay, this could be online with the Page of Swords. This could be in collaboration with someone. But yeah, you're going to be highly admired here with the Six of Wands. Okay? It could be through something you write. It could be a course. It could be digital products. Whatever it is that you do, no matter what it is, in connection to the Most High, also is what I'm getting. With the High Priestess, look at that. Okay? Slowly but surely. Do what you do. Do what you love with love. Do what you do with love. Okay? And keep moving forward. Absolutely. There will be collaborations that come into your life. Okay? Some of you will be meeting your divine counterpart or union will be had with your divine counterpart yeah because the wheel of destiny is right there destined to go on this new journey this new path and a lot of you this will lead to a, a beautiful relationship and a marriage here and some of you will be working with your divine counterpart is what i'm seeing as well okay tapping into your spiritual gifts there's a lot of things here that are not being shown to you just yet that you will be admired for or have some sort of victory and success with and it's something that is slow to take off something that you may be even working on right now or that presents itself as an opportunity all right beautiful let's get some advice here from spirit Yeah, you're not approaching love in the same way you used to, that's for sure. And that's because a lot of inner growth has taken place. You've learned a lot of lessons. 
you've been through a lot of trials and tribulations, ups and downs, heartbreaks, um, and this time around, uh, yeah, you've got the power, you're in your power, or you're about to be fully in your power, okay, just be patient with yourself, give it time, and give spirit time as well as they align you to this newfound sense of self and new beginning. All right, this is looking good. All right, spirit, what else? Yeah, peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. All right, some of you will have that, you know, that soft life, they call it, where there is peace, there is balance, there is abundance of all types. Okay, family life love career travel whatever it is that you know brings you peace and you love to do or experience that is coming some of you are living it right now but maybe for some of you you know things could be better everything takes time yeah boundaries know when to put up and let down your walls and there's definitely an energy where you're going to have to take some boundaries. And in order to keep your peace, of course, we must learn how to set those boundaries. And again, we have somebody here like, please, <laughs> please take me with you. Take me with you. Okay. <laughs> Releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. So somebody is going to be honest with you about something. They're on the spotlight. Okay. This person's in tears. They cannot let you go, collective. So I don't know what you're gonna do with that, but it can't. It's here with boundaries. So you may have to have boundaries with somebody. I don't know why I'm getting political. This person could have different views uh, when it comes to you. I'm getting somebody that's pretty like political or like. You guys don't see eye to eye on certain things. Whoa. Communicate. Yeah, receive and express the truth. Somebody definitely wants to communicate with you. Ask your angels. It's like, should I even entertain this, this conversation? <laughs> Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. Yeah, apology. I'm sorry forgiveness through mutual understanding so this feels like someone that you may be called to you know let bygones be bygones kind of energy okay because this person clearly feels some type of way here guilty or remorseful or regretful like crying and it's like they need to tell you something so you may look to your angels to to gain like insight on what you should do here okay from my perspective I just see that this is someone where they're looking for some sort of inner peace and it comes from you forgiving them for something okay I'm also seeing that so yeah somebody may owe you an apology now it, that's not an ex for everybody it could be some a friend a family member a crush a you know past crush you know, it could be a, uh, an acquaintance or, you know, someone you considered a really good friend at some point. Whatever, the, whoever this is, um, there, there, there's a need to let bygones be bygones, water under the bridge energy, but keep your boundaries well set with this person. So it's not giving me somebody that is that you're going to invite into your life again, but because you understand this person's character, but someone that you may just let bygones be bygones okay you, you know kind of hear them out kind of energy of course you do what you want i'm just telling you what i'm feeling in the reading and what else spirit wisdom yeah so you know stay wise be wise do wise shit knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor all right and bottom of the deck evaluation feed out what doesn't serve you reevaluate the situation all right so you know 
what doesn't serve that situation anymore or the connection anymore whatever happened happened it's no longer um a part of whatever future you have whether it's with this person or without this person evaluating just exactly what happened here maybe gaining some further insight truth to the situation maybe there's miscommunication or misinformation or somebody said this when it's really that whatever this is um, just evaluate act accordingly and weed out what doesn't serve you anymore that's it sacrifice uh, I did hear about sacrifices giving up something now for a future reward and, and find getting some much need of rest so for some of you, you may have to sacrifice someone that could have been very important to you at some point, but did you wrong somehow. Okay, they might be asking for an apology to be a part of your life. I don't feel they're meant to be a part of this future. All right? So you may have to sacrifice that specific person in your life, this lifetime. And what I when I say sacrifice, I don't mean you go out and you tie them to a piece of wood and, and you know go ablaze and and you know fire them up that that's not the kind of sacrifice i'm talking about okay <laughs> in order to gain something in life you always must sacrifice something or give up something a part of you a part of your um how you lived your life uh you know what whatever it is but i feel that is whoever this person is that has been in your energy causing a lot of stagnation because of the lack of clarity and also hanging on to your energy with this guilt and this, you know, the, all this. I mean, somebody's heart could be weighing real heavy here. All right. And they need to release it. Okay. It's almost like they need to free themselves also from whatever this is that they're carrying when it comes to you. And it has to do with you not seeing them as you know maybe a, a devil or you know <laughs> you know they did what they did right but you know i just feel like someone here you're you're gonna listen to them you're you're gonna hear them out you're gonna let bygones be bygones you're gonna set them boundaries and you're just gonna keep it moving and that's what i'm getting here all right listen to your body mentally and physically unwind manifestation law of attraction thoughts become things so you see you see like how that's kind of like aligning so spirit wants to see what you're gonna do with someone here that's been stagnant in your energy hanging on to you to dear life and how this is all gonna play out whatever you're manifesting I don't feel is this person <coughs> excuse me I don't feel this person is supposed to be a part of <coughs> they may well they may want to be but I don't think they're supposed to be okay so be careful with desire lust temptation um, you know wolf in sheep's clothing just be careful all right okay guys that's what I have for you today let me know in the comments if anybody resonates I hope this brought you some type of clarity in your current energy and situation at this particular time and space and I wish you all the best I hope that you have enough clarity to make the right choices based on your inner growth intuition and state of mind at this time and um, thank you for watching I'll see you next time peace